Here we are at example 1a from our angles of triangles notes. Now today we're going to be talking a lot more about the actual angles within our triangle. And we notice that by our definition, the sum of all of those interior angles needs to come out to be 180 degrees. So if I take all three of these, we know that all of them combined together give us that 180 degrees that we're looking for. So that's pretty much what our definition says. Now this is really handy, especially when you're looking for possibly like an unknown angle. And again, you're gonna experience these a lot more in high school, especially your geometry class. So here, what we have to do is take all of the different angles. So we have 28 degrees, we have 50 degrees, and then finally we have this unknown degree one, X. But according to the, um, the triangle sum, being 180, we know that it has to be equal to 180 degrees. When I take all three of those interior angles together, we should get 180. Now, 28 plus 50, we get 78 degrees plus X equals 180. And now all we have to do is subtract to solve for X. So this is all the work that I would need on a like a homework assignment, for example. So 180 minus 78 would come out to be 102 degrees. So there we have found our X value. Now again, for homework, you guys are gonna to need to show this step right here. You're setting it up, as well as all of the solving right here. And then finally, your answer, X being 102 degrees. Again, though, that is example 1A from our sum of angles notes.